Pokemon Go Fest 2022 leaves players disappointed and angry. Pokemon Go trainers dub Go Fest 2022 Niantic's worst event yet. Absolutely awful. Pokemon Go fans call Go Fest 2022 the biggest letdown of the year. What's up everybody, it's yours truly Fit City. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Pokemon Go Fest 2022. A review, a recap, what's going on? Was it good? Was it bad? This is probably a video you guys have been waiting for, and it's probably not gonna be the video that you expected it to be. You probably expect me to absolutely roast Niantic and roast Pokemon Go Fest 2022. But honestly, I have no reasons to complain. There are two things, let's start with the cons. There are two things that I believe for Pokemon Go Fest was an issue. And that was one being no Pokemon Go Fest research or field research, I should say, at Pokestops. Because in the past, Go Fest, like 2019, uh, I do remember 2020 as well, we had research where you could complete uh, tasks to do, to, to get rare candies. Stardust, Silver Pineapps, Golden Raspberries, and you could just farm these and farm those items, and it was extremely nice, it was a good pace of play, and again, you could farm things like Rare Candy, and they were, if I remember correctly, sometimes, I, I think one year it was like, you just got one, but you could farm those pretty easily, and another year it was three Rare Candies per research task, which is amazing, so you could farm those on top of doing your normal, you know, grinds. Uh, during Pokemon Go Fest, uh, as usual. But, we didn't get those. And another thing, we didn't get Go Fest specific eggs. Huge letdown. They want people to go out and play, they want people to be in with their communities, yada yada yada. Why not put special eggs in each tier, or just two kilometer eggs, because that's usually what they do, just two kilometer Go Fest event eggs only, put Axu in there, put a lot of other really good Pokemon in there, and allow people to hatch those eggs uh, and also, Niantic, uh, wink wink, you could have made more money off incubators, but it goes to show that sometimes you guys care about money and sometimes you don't. I don't know what the deal is, but the eggs were a disappointment as well, because we could- I hatched a lot of eggs, because we are constantly moving on the ground, um, even when you're in the car, you know, you're say you're getting some egg distance when you're in the car, if you're going to go get food, whatever it may be. But nope. And that's why I think the ticket was not worth $15. The ticket should have been worth $10 just based off those two things, key components, key things that were in previous GoFests that weren't a component at all in this one. And that's those just those two things, I believe, is why the ticket should have been $10 instead of $15. Now, what about the rest of the event? Well, I thought the rest of the event was fine because let's go ahead and actually look and see how I did. I'm pulling up the game right now. Let's see how I did in GoFest. Okay, so if you don't follow me on Twitter and whatnot, you might not be aware how I did. So if we go shiny, and we go recent. My very first shiny was a Darumaka on my incense. Now incense shiny rates were boosted for ticket holders. So your highest chance of getting a shiny was actually through your incense. So Shiny Darumaka. My very first Axu raid, which was a remote raid, was Shiny. My very first one. I did click on Larvitar just to get candy farm XLs. Tyranitar is a very good Pokemon. This was an accidental Shiny, but it looks like it played out okay. It's kind of got PvP IVs. We'll see what we do with that. Then I got a Mudkip. Again, another ac accidental shiny is actually an accidental click. Do not need this. Then I got a shiny Carablast, which is a new Pokemon. I didn't have it. Binacle, a recently uh, shiny release, didn't have it, so that's new. I got another Binacle, traded it with my girlfriend. I got a new shiny in return for that. So let's count it because a lot of people did do their special trades to get something they didn't have. Let's count that for the event because I was able to get two of these. So a new mill tank. Pit of! Believe it or not, I did not have a shiny pit of. I've been hunting these things forever, 
And I got a male too, which is the best shiny. That's another new one. I got another Carablast for training. Awesome. Swine up. This was day two. The stupid research with the ground Pokemon. I was trying to complete it. I literally told my girlfriend, I was like, this is going to be shiny. I just know it. Clicked on it. It was shiny. About through my phone. But here we are. Litleo. I actually needed one of these for a while. Wish it was male, but that's okay. It still fills out the Pokedex. Uh, another new one. Shroomish. Towards the end of day two. Another new one. And then also I got, I believe I got a Buizel or a second Buizel or something like that. Um, I can't rem I can't remember what it was exactly, but I traded it to the girlfriend, got a new shiny. And then literally on the way home on the highway or off the side of the highway, something like that, I can't remember. We slowed down um, and a clink spawned on my incense, shiny clink. And then here's another trade, uh, something I had already uh, and traded the girlfriend and got another new shiny. So. Let's recap how many new shinies I got just from catching. Clank is 1, Shroomish 2, Litleo 3, Carablast 4, Pit of 5, Binacle 6, one won't count, count the other Carablast, Axu 7, Darumaka 8, and then total shinies 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, because like I said, the other shiny is something I already had, I do believe. 14 shinies for GoFest this year with eight being new. That's fantastic. And that's not including what I got during the Go Fest. I got a, my okay, so my first raid was a Shiny Axu. My second raid was a hundred percent. And then I incensed another hundo. So my experience was fantastic. I thought the spawns were great. I thought that uh, the variety was great. Now, one thing I will say is the 10 Community Day Pokemon spawning during Go Fest, get them out. Get them out. There is no place for Community Day Pokemon to be in a Go Fest. Especially when at the end of the year, we have, what, almost 48 hours, two days, a weekend of Go Fest, or, excuse me, Community Day weekend. So there is no place for Community Day Pokemon ever and go fast. So they should replace those 10 spawns with something else. Now the evolution spawns, the Alone Muck, the Biartic, the Dragalge, however you say it, uh, the Golurk, those were awesome because it was great for farming Stardust. So overall, I thought GoFest was fine. I did well. I got new shinies, uh, uh, plenty of them that is. Um, the, the cool spawns for farming XLs and Stardust, like I just mentioned, Lola Muck, for example, uh, amazing. The raids were okay. Nilahigo, or however you say it, was pretty cool, but it was kind of lackluster. Um, Rock Ruff were spawning pretty, uh, frequently, and so were Axus. Raiding those was fine. I wish we had a couple more Ultra Beasts. I will complain about that. Um, definitely not very exciting for just Nilahigo being out there. Uh, but... Again, you could use the 9 free raid passes for Rockruff and Axu as well, so it was okay. The raids were okay. Day 1, Kyogre, Groudon, and Axu, not bad. So the raids were okay, could have been a little bit better. Um, but overall, yeah, I think it was a uh, pretty good go fest, especially for me and my experience. Let me know what your guys' experience was down below. Now before we end today's video, let's go over what people are saying, and I'm going to kind of react to what some of them are saying. My favorite was the broken incense spawns that fled before you could even encounter them. That was annoying, and Niantic did uh, say that that was an issue, and they never ended up fixing it. But obviously, you just had to click on things and get rid of them off your screen. It was annoying, yes, but I still did pretty well, so. Uh, Count Jisha says, you ripped us off. I disagree. I believe that it should have been $10 instead of $15, based off what I mentioned before. But everyone's play is going to be different. And where you play depends on how well you're going to do as well. If you're not in a very good area, you're not going to do well. That's common sense. That's common practice. But if you're in a giant city or if you travel somewhere that's amazing for Pokemon Go, and I'm just talking like maybe 10 stops in a cluster, you're going to do pretty well. This event was the most fun I've had playing the game. I had a blast in New York City, creating beautiful memories with my oldest star. Walked about 9 miles during day 1 and we just drove for day 2. Hondo 
or Shundo Accident. Absolutely amazing. Uh, let's see. Glad you thought it was amazing. It was a bore fest. My favorite is when I, uh, let's see, spent a hundred dollars, sixteen hours playing, constantly moving. Gotta hit. Wait, all these. Okay, so shiny shroomish, brand new, brand new in the game. Shiny shroomish. Aksu from a raid, which many people did get, brand new in the game. Carabas, brand new. Numel, brand new. So we got four new shinies. We don't know if that rock ref is new for him, but let's just say four new shinies and he thought it was a letdown. I disagree. Here's the deal, people. Here's the deal. I thought this would be common knowledge, and I see a lot. People are like, well, I didn't get 10, 20, 30, 40 shinies. And then the people that do get 10 and 20 and still complain are getting repeatable shinies. Repeatable shinies. Shinies they've already had and they complain because they wanted more. Here's the deal, and I thought this was common knowledge again. Do not click on shinies you already have. Do not do that. Because here's the deal. I got eight new shinies that I did not have. Fantastic go fest for me. That's all I wanted. Every time I clicked on like the swine up that I showed you, the mud kit, and the larva time, when I got those shinies, I was irate, I was livid. I do not need those. That is a wasted shiny that I could have had on a click that I needed. A shiny that I needed. But when you're clicking on shinies and Pokemon that you already have, you can ruin your GoFest experience or any other type of event experience in the game yourself by clicking on something that you already have. Because here's the thing, there are, it's your choice to begin with, but there are plenty of other Pokemon you can click on and catch that either A, aren't shiny, or B, is a new shiny that you're trying to get anyway. So the excuse that you want to click on everything and try to catch everything, but then you're getting shinies that you already have, and then you say you have a bad GoFest experience, that is your own fault. I really thought this was common knowledge, but apparently it's not. Because I've been seeing a lot of people be sad about the low shiny rates. If you got four to five new shinies that just came out, or shinies you didn't have, look at this guy. This guy just went nuts, click on everything. Got new shinies and got shinies he probably already had. But he also did play in a big city. He mentions that. Like here, they, they said, uh, my favorite memory is, uh, is getting scammed from you guys as you advertise the GoFest will increase shiny rate for ticket holders. But note for me, eight hours grinding, 20 plus raids in game each day, only 10 shinies. So, let's see here. He only got one new shiny, so that I would be a little bit upset. I do not know... I do not know why they clicked on Litleos all freaking day for day two when they should be clicking on other things. I do know and not know why they were clicking on Larvitar. You can kind of see where that plays into what I literally just talked about. Do not click on things that you don't need. Those could have been literally three other shinies. If day one was a new lit leo for him the other ones could have been a completely new shiny for him completely but nope didn't care about it apparently oh and, and that's just if if i looked at if you watch go train a tips video it's a pretty good one too someone the very first comment was like i only got nine shinies what do you mean you only got nine shinies what do you mean you only got nine shinies were they all duplicates well yeah it's a terrible go fest were they four, three, five, six brand new shinies you never had? You had a fantastic go fest, especially new released ones. This person only got three. Shiny unknown, don't know if they've had that before. Awesome, shiny wheezing, I doubt they had that. It's basically a new shiny, even though it was released a while ago. That's pretty good, but this is pretty bad. I walked for two days, about six hours, and used like 10 incense and 10 lower modules. You only used 10 incense? Hmm, okay. And got three shines. I mean, it's not like I want hundred shines, but the rate was a little ridiculous for that price. We don't know where they played though, so that's an issue as well. People never learn that Niantic will never deliver on what they promise. Keep wasting money, guys. Me as a free player, I got one shiny axe from a raid and got eight more wild shining during go day two of GoFest, plus a 98 
and 100% nihil nihiligo. As for the mythical, everyone will get it for free. That is true. So this guy seemed like probably the eight shinies were probably mostly new and had a good time. And he's free to play. Um, so I I'm just going to end it there. Honestly, for the people that were complaining about the shiny rates... You choose your own destiny at the end of the day. Should the ticket have been $10 or less than $15, I should say yes. Should have been $10, based off what I went over in the beginning of the video. But you dictate your experience at the end of the day. Were the shiny rates that bad? Probably not. I did fine. I did fine. I had the ability to make it great, I guess. I, ch I made the right decisions. I guess um, now some of you guys aren't in the best you know position to play the game and I understand that so you're obviously gonna be outliers there's always outliers but everyone that was capable of playing the event at a good location um, again just stop clicking on things you already have you can ruin your event doing that that's it, the boy fits today. I'm signing off. I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon Go video.